Just this thing makes me think um, about a theory where each time you make a decision, you make a parallel universe where you did the opposite thing. Yeah. Yeah, that really makes me think about that theory. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, like... If I chose to pick up this pillow, there's going to be a parallel universe where I didn't pick up the pillow. But there would be lots of parallel universes, so there'd be like billions and billions and billions and billions. Yeah. It was in Doctor Who, and they went to visit a hospital, and in the hospital there was all these people, but they weren't really people. They were just flesh, kind of. They, were, they looked like people, but yeah. they, they were bred to, um... They had every disease, and they, mm. they used them as test subjects. Mm. And my question is, is it right to breed people, to breed another form of life to help save forms of life that are already around? I think it sort of depends on the person. I mean, if they're like a really unintelligent life form, they feel no pain, they don't feel any pain at all. I think that might be okay if it means saving thousands of actual people who feel pain. In a way, it is sort of like breeding animals to be killed for people to eat so they can live. So let's just imagine a scenario where you've got some people who are being bred and kept in captivity to save other people's lives. They're not in pain but they're not allowed to go where they please or do what they like, they have to be there for this purpose. Is that okay? No. If it's an actual person, they're restricted to so many things, they're not allowed to go anywhere. I mean, their life is like in a science lab, sitting in like this capsule. They're meant to be living a life of any other human being, they should be respected, I mean, like, imagine our lives, we get to do all these fun things in their life, but their whole life they've been sitting in the capsule. Even if they don't feel anything, because they still they still don't get to like witness the world, so they might not actually learn anything. They might just not know what's outside. They might not know what like trees look like or something. And that I think just that small fact is wrong. But keeping them in captivity is even more wrong. Um, you're saying that everybody has a right to be able to learn. Yeah. No, that's not good at all. If they have a choice, then they, yes, because they're like, they're good people, they want to help their race. I mean, they can go ahead and do that, but I'm not trying to be selfish. I personally wouldn't do that. Oh, that's not being also, selfish. Like yeah, Jessica said, selfish, like, you, what, there's no point in being alive if you don't do anything. What are you gonna do with your life? You're not enjoying anything, you're not doing anything in your life, then like... So what's the point of life? The point of life is to challenge yourself, to be ambitious, to do to do some things sometimes that are scary, but you like skydiving or something, like sometimes being a daredevil. Completing things is just something you really want to do and you complete it. There's just this feeling in you doing stuff that you thought you'd never do, like going on trips like to other countries and stuff. To live a good life basically, to like have fun. There's just lots of things. There's many different points in life. So we're back to the meaning of life. I think there's not actually a word that you can use to describe how important your freedom and your rights are. So I'm not gonna actually try and explain that because I don't think there's words enough to describe that. If well, they're in pain, that's not okay. They kept and in caption the issue double not okay. So I think everything about the Dr. Who scenario is wrong. Really wrong. Right. If they weren't in pain, it would be a little less wrong, but still pretty wrong. 
And you might say, oh, well, they're being bred to do this. To help us. Like, but that makes me just feel so bad because the only reason we're giving somebody the joys of life is to take them away. I think that life is mainly about like living, I guess, and then feeding people to it's save other living. people isn't really living because you're just there doing nothing all of your life. So what do you need to be doing to be really knitting? Like just breathing isn't enough, right? And your heart beating isn't enough. You've got to be meeting other people and enjoying yourself and learning new things and achieving goals. I don't think there is one point of life. I think everybody has their own point of life. Mm -hmm. So it's not just like one major point of life. Right. Eat chocolate. Uh -huh. It's like. So what do you think is the point of your life? life? Um, I'm not sure yet. I mean, people might like never know what their point of life is. Do you think that there is a point of people's lives or not necessarily? Do you think that some people's lives might not have a point? Yeah, because like somebody like they might have depression. I mean, their point of life might be to get underpressed, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. they might just feel like they're not living, so then they don't like a point of life to them. I think one of the main points of life is we just gotta all be nice to each other and make a world where we all wanna live in. Cause life might not be around forever if we're the only planet that has life and life ends up dying on this planet, that's the only life we're ever going to get. So that's something that's going to make a big point in our life if we're all nice to each other. There have been discoveries of other not very intelligent small life forms on other planets. We knew for sure that there are a bunch of other planets out there in the universe that also have intelligent life on them. What would that make you feel or think? Would that make you change your perception of how important our lives are or what the point of our lives are? Yes. I think that everybody's life is always important, whether, I don't know, you're just a little bacteria. Mm -hmm. It's still important and even if there are like millions and billions of other lives out there, it would be amazing if there was other life out there, almost like intelligent. Not exactly like us, but like things that understand us and stuff. If we found life on another planet and it was really cute and cuddly and they were like pets and stuff, do you think it would be okay, like I don't think this would be okay, to take them and make them our pets on Earth. They would, they would that would be kind of like the British up. invading Australia and, then and taking over the Aboriginal land. You have to ask them. What so if they don't speak English? Well, is it intelligent life? Like, has it built great civilizations or is it still trying to take that first step out of the ocean? Would that make a difference? Yes. What difference would that make, Annabelle? Like, I don't know, it, I think it depends on the smartness of it. Like, would it be okay to take humans away? But if you feed your pet and love them and hug them and let them outside and take them for walks and give them treats every once in a while, then I think it'd probably be okay in my point of view.